in whatever means that means, right? And whatever means, means that means. means. We means are full mean. of memes tonight. Yeah, I, I love it. And yeah. whatever means it means. Yeah, so think about think about it. if you're going to have a checklist for a HMO project. I'm talking about from getting your numbers confirmed to exchange to complete to go through all the build phase. What it is that you need? Do you want to know that? Like you need to comment right ahead. You want to know this? By the way, the people who are watching this live, you're in for a special treat because at the end of this, we're going to give you something very special. We're going to allow you to be on a certain um, list that's going to receive something very, very special. So if you want that, put hashtag special. If you want it, only if you want it. Only put hashtag special if you want it because we're going to be watching all of these comments. You know, we're going to see what it is that you guys um, are up to and if you're interested and if you do want it. Now, I don't know where you're watching. HMO checklist. Could be watching this on YouTube, we're live on YouTube, we're live on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever it is that you're watching this. We need to be on the other page so we can see the comments. Yeah, that, that is true, but I just want to make sure everything is working and Excellent. everything is still there. What is this? That, that's Instagram now. Yeah. Yeah. So look, hey, listen, we have got something very special for you. Put a hashtag HMO if you're into HMOs. Or, or if you want to get in HMOs, I need to see the hashtags. I need to see the hashtags from the people. Listen, people are scared at the moment with HMOs. I've been hearing it quite a lot online. A lot of the thing is, everything that goes around social media, there's a lot of this, that, and the other that goes on. You know, somebody's maybe comment turns into the truth and it's gospel and it has to be the end result. No, the thing is, it's like Brexit, right? It's all a gossip rumor. I'm not saying Brexit is a gossip and a rumor, but what I'm saying is it is all a mindset thing. So somebody's like, there's got to be a crash now because of this and because of this fact and whatever. You know, if you focus on just getting your own solution and result, then you are going to have an amazing, prosperous business that works in any market because that is what you're supposed to do if you want to be successful. So it's not about focusing on the hearsay and the gossip. Yeah, be aware of what's going on in the news, but is that positive and empowering stuff that you hear? Like, for example, today, only just earlier, I'm going to be totally real with you. Like, I constantly have moments recently, you know, since the split and everything, that it's like, I don't really know what's going on and what, what am I doing today? And I'm a bit up and down and kind of my emotions are different. So it's like, I'm trying to figure that out. But when you do have a constant, stop doing this, really distracting. But like, like when, now, when, yeah, like now, all this, like- I keep flicking screens. I'm you like, don't need look, to look, look at look. yourself, just speak to the people. I am speaking to the people. Well, I so am literally speaking to the people. Looking at, you but got this. But literally, what is interesting is that if you just focus, stop it. If you just focus, you that? That's on, if you Did you focus that? on just what you need to do and how you need to achieve it, then you will achieve it. That is the massive successful way of doing it. Because the thing is, when we started out in property, we had so many negative comments of what are you doing? Have you lost your minds? This is never going to work. It's a scam. Um, we had people telling us, you're not going to get those kind of valuations. You're not experienced enough. You don't know how to get those kind of rents. You won't get those kind of rents. That's going to And it happened for a while, you know. Like, it happened for a while. Ages. But yeah, so and, it does. And, yeah, and, and do you know what? At one point, people got really aggressive and started yeah. making up total Rubbish. nonsense that was not true, the way we were doing things and that, that, that it was, you know, untoward and it wasn't working and people were losing money and all the rest of it. Hey. Look, I'm not saying that every deal goes the way that you plan it to be. But first of all, what I want to give you on this session is a step-by-step -step checklist. That's all it is, just to be aware. You know, Gary Vee said it himself. He said, look, you know, all this is, all you need to work on is your self-awareness. Yeah, there's a big, massive energy shift going on in the world right now, yeah. and it's about your consciousness. Like, people are walking around asleep. They're not connected to each other. You know, they're wondering why people cannot stay in relationships for long. It's quite funny that I'm saying that, yeah? But also, it's like some people, they stay in a relationship. So some people can't stay in a relationship, but some people stay in one that is not serving them. Yeah, people do stay in jobs that are not serving them. They do things on a daily basis that are not serving them. Now, I'm not saying that every day, I mean, love what you do for sure, but there's still certain things that you have to do because it's part of what you need to do to move forward to contribute to the bigger picture. Yeah. And the thing is, when you are connected, and this is what the whole thing is about, when you're connected and your, your level of consciousness is expanded, your awareness, we just want to make you more aware about HMOs. Being more aware of yourself and all the rest of it, absolutely. Discovering your true potential, very important. And many of you are going to be doing that soon. And it's really important because, like, the thing is, people just don't get started. 
They fail to get started because they, yes, they're focusing on the big picture. And because they think they're they aware. Want, but they, they, Would they you agree like, that? Yeah, Would but, you agree that? Yeah. They think they're aware, but, but they're not really, they don't the know what's going on. But I think the difference, because people ask me all the time, like, how come you, you did something that everybody nobody else was doing and why did you trust in yourself or or have the confidence to just go straight into HMO even though everyone was telling you you can't do it that way the difference the difference was simple that we did not want to listen to the gossip and the status quo which is what I was talking about before it's a really important factor and the reason I'm bringing it up and yeah we're going to talk about HMOs but I think I think I need to say this because it is such an imperative learning that I certainly had, I can only speak for myself, but that I had was if you trust in yourself first, listen to mentors, training, coaches, advice, absolutely, because listen to the experts that are in the industry doing it. But if somebody tells you you can't do something, what are you going to do then? If somebody tells you this won't work, what are you going to do then? If someone tells you this challenge is going to happen, what are you going to do then? The difference in what we did to what probably other people were doing before is I found a solution. I focused on the solution, listened and was aware of the status quo and the gossip or the news. Yeah, but I didn't focus on the news. I focused on what was my outcome. What do I want to get out of it? I want to get out of my job by the end of 2017, it was, 2017. Yeah, I, I made a, a thing the to myself to say yeah. by the end of 2017, and, and I was actually out by the June 2017. It was amazing. This is, this is what I mean, the compound effect of just focusing on that goal until it was successful. And, and I, once we found the numbers out when we learned about property and I found out that HMO, so I could get a buy to let, for example, and I could get between 150, 200 pounds a month net income right from one asset great brilliant right but as soon as i found out that i could potentially be making a thousand plus a month on one hmo i was like well i only need two of them but this is what yeah but this is what's called well, so this, I, this is what's caused the gold rush because i know you've got a whole story behind that and all the rest of it but like we need to get onto the onto the yeah, training this this helps this them learn the, no i get it but to do hmo and why why like hmo is a great yeah, but thing. this is what caused the gold rush because people would tell stories like that and say yeah thousand pounds cash flow and all the rest of it so people then started filling the market with a load of you know houses lounges that, with a bed in. yeah like just rooms with a bed in i mean we were just in one the other week where like it was being ran as a hmo but we like walked in there and it's like like to us it's derelict yeah like like you know a little bit of furniture and a bit of a bed and all the rest of it i mean Matt, like if i came to view that like this is no wonder you know people are aren't like, renting it or yeah, yeah no no, no people destroyed. are going crazy i mean like are the property side is to raise the standard of living for our luxury for accommodation but real life's mission is to is to uh, design, create, and deliver the most life transformational coaching, coaches, experiences. training, and experiences, like to assist people to live financially free. Do you want to be financially free, physically free, mentally free? I mean, listen, being aware of your mental health and your emotional health is, I would say, more important than your physical health. Yeah. Because when you take care of the mental and the emotional, and if you want to go there, the spiritual, because the spirit always knows what you need, and then, then the emotional and the mental, that, like the physical is easy. I mean, what, let's face it, what stops you from going to either work out or eat healthily foods? Yeah, it's yeah? your mind. It's your mind, Frick, and it's your emotions, and you're, you're just, you know, oh, I feel I want instant gratification, so I'm going to eat chocolate crisp, you know, I'm going to go to the fast food restaurant. And then feel crap about the rest of it. about five minutes later. Yeah, well, there you go, and that's, and that's the situation. So here's the thing, we're going to give you the whole picture. Yeah, but picture. one second, because this is really important. So this is why, because people panic and be like, oh, yeah, I want to do HMOs, but eventually I need to start with this first. I'm not saying don't do that, because, again, know your outcome but for me just as a untrained brand new into property when i first began i was like okay then i need to start out doing vital lets and a bit of this that and the other to begin with and then build up to hmo but as soon as i found out that I could be making a thousand pound a month net income and bear in mind that's our smallest ones we make way more on the bigger ones right but once I found out that, I was like, right, I have to, even though everybody was against it and totally like, no, you can't do it, can't do it, can't do it because of this, 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 this. Like they had reams of lists. 
I then was like, right, okay, well, who can show me that I can do it? So I just went in search for answers, got the answers, which enabled us to blast through. And we're going to give you a checklist so that not only can you do it for yourself and make this kind of income, because if we can do it, so can you. Yeah, and people talked about buy to let being the foundation. Start with small deals so you can work your way up. And I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I mean, that's what can be down some, to what people want to do. In fact, we'll do a different video. Yeah, but some here buy can be is like the mega. foundation. And what I'm talking about is a HMO is a foundation for many things it teaches you how to deal with bigger projects to be able to go into development start a new builds it builds a foundation to be able to then expand into service accommodation when you've got all the management stuff that you need to know how to handle when it comes to hmos and then yeah yeah, yeah like i'm saying it's a foundation i'm not saying it's all you need i'm saying if you yes. want to learn how to do it properly like rent to rent service accommodation you know we have got a suite of different experiences that are going to give you the foundation physically mentally and emotionally to be able to take yourself forward and apply what you learn yeah. when it comes to oh okay how does rent to rent work how does service yeah, accommodation work it's not work? just about learning yeah, about because it, it's doing it oh absolutely because that's when stuff comes up like every single time we've done a deal different challenges yeah like even, brand now, new. even, even now, now when you think you're seasoned and you've done over 16 million pounds worth of hmo projects even now a refinance new things are coming up new requirements and you might be looking at us thinking who are these children right i've no, never seen i've never child? i've never seen these before yeah listen okay, we're, 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 thir we're 33 are you 33 yet Right. Anyway, now, we're 33 at yeah, this point in our lives, and in just no, well, it's just under three years of growing. If you talk about August 2017, we've built sure. we have built a portfolio in property. Yes, a massive percentage is HMO because we love it, which is what we're going to go through. Let's get to over checklist. 16 million. So if you want to be able to do that kind of result for yourself, and listen, if your little voice is coming up right now, we've got three children. We both were in full time jobs and we had no money, so we did it with no, none of our own money. We only started using some of our own money now. But but I'm trying to give you these things now because that, if you start talking to yourself like, yeah, but you've done this and yeah, but da 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 No, that will, that will switch you off. You will then stop participating and stop listening to what's coming next in this training. And I'm trying to help you so that you can get the most out of this so that you can actually take action and start doing these results for yourself. Would that be good? If, if, if this is good, hashtag yes. Hashtag and subscribe now. to the YouTube channel oh, because absolutely. we're going to give you so much and there's already so much. Make sure you follow on Instagram. So and real life group. So Melawija for the amazing videos and stuff like that. Amazing team this around us. no sense, please. Yeah, but they oh, love that. Top sense. Yeah, so <laughs> on Instagram, it's real life group and it's Mark Harvey. And what's yours? Um, at Trisha Harvey. Yeah. One. At Trisha Harvey one. Yeah, and then... Um, Get on, on LinkedIn. On what Follow is my me name? on LinkedIn. Tell me what my name is on LinkedIn. Instagram. What's LinkedIn? LinkedIn? I don't know. LinkedIn. Loads of different hashtag LinkedIn. Real Life Group and Mark Harvey. What are you on LinkedIn? Um, Trisha Peck. I mean, you make it Harvey. so difficult for people. Know. What is? How are they supposed been, to search I'm in the, you? I'm in the process of changing my name back, so I'm a bit confused at the moment. Back. So I'm changing it back. Changing yeah. it forward for you. Come on, be positive. Forward. Good life. Hashtag great. Yeah. Yes. Hashtag yes, 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 yes. I love that. So Matt. this is what it is. Uh, wherever it is you're watching, I need you to comment where you are watching. Also, I need you to tag some more people. You need, you, need, you haven't tagged enough people. Where are you watching this on the... Put hashtag replay if you're watching this on the replay, especially if you're watching this on YouTube. I think the comments are a lot less from people on YouTube. Yeah, but even YouTube, listen. YouTube, why don't you show... Why don't you show Facebook? Why don't you show Instagram that people on YouTube, they can comment more, yeah? And I can ask questions. And I'm going to put a hashtag replay and get yourself seen and get yourself known on YouTube. And listen, somebody's just put this in. I think this is wise as well to just note down. Somebody's put, yeah, prove them wrong. Yeah, prove them wrong is like an ego thing that comes up. Like, I'm going to prove you wrong, <laughs> which is what I did in the beginning. It did help us move forward. But stop focusing on other people. Just focus on Would the you result. you say sometimes that still, like, creeps into your... Yeah, of course it does. But the main encompass of what actually achieves the result is when I'm focusing on what is what what it is that I want and getting the answers to get me my desired result. It's so, not hang yeah. on because the challenges do come up. Th this this challenge, for example, and and the reason I want to point it out now is because this is again going to be a little voice that comes up for people. Yeah, but um, your because some of the value, some of the properties we have, we've tripled and more yeah, we than the into, value. We need to get into this checklist. Yeah, but this is awesome because they're going to no, learn. I, I know. So That's I want to ask you a question. So th this is going to be okay, intellect intellectual information that people are about to receive. Yeah, if because I know one of the blockers of learning is ego and thinking yeah. you know it, yeah, and not being open to the learning. I see it all the Be time. Be a student. Yeah, the people who are slow, 
yeah. slow or not even moving at all, which means you're going backwards. Even the people are slow, it's because they have an ego. It's because they don't want to accept something from someone else. So just say, you just said that, yeah, ego, and it's great advice. And you said sometimes it slips in. I want, I want you because this helps you too and it helps me and it helps all these people but like, what advice would you give to someone to like l like i don't know what to call it lower their ego tame their ego because it never goes away in my opinion anyway it never goes away but like just satisfy the ego so that the truth can come through the truth honesty well, and integrity well, so I'm you can accept information what advice would you give to so them so that's what i'm saying to put the ego to one side or to calm it down because the ego will never really leave How? you is focus on the solution, finding yeah. the answer. Okay, because what, what helped me, because initially I was like, yeah, I'm going to prove you wrong. You can't tell me no, da, 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 da. But what actually, that didn't, yes, it might have aided me getting to my result, but the thing that got me to my result was keep going until you find the answer. There is an answer. There is an answer. And if you keep going long enough, you will find somebody that has the answer. And yes, it may not be one person or two people. It may be 10, 20 people. But if you keep going, your yes, your ego is going to push you into that so that you keep going. But be focused on the solution, not I'm doing this to prove them wrong. I'm doing this because this is my result that I want to achieve. And to get my result, I need to have some more information i need to have help from somebody else so that's where you're putting your ego to one side because you're admitting and being open to the fact that you're not the expert here and that other people have the answers and not you so that puts your ego to one side because your ego has to be quiet because if your ego is going yeah i know i'm the best i can do anything yeah that's great and everything but you don't know the answers you so, give, so give three technical because people are about to receive this information right now. I want to give you more than what we promised. You thought it was just getting a checklist. You're not just getting that. You're getting how to apply it as well. So give you three top things of how, like, in the moment, in the heat of the moment, because that's where the ego wants to, like, punch its way and fight and fight and fight. Isn't it true? Isn't it true? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Give you three top tips on how to, like, let it pass so the truth can come through and the collaboration. And, and the listen, this, this is not prepared that he's asking me these questions. So just give me a sec. So first thing, breathe. I think take a deep breath. So show, you, show us the so technique. If, so How if you, you feel like you're getting all riled up and your ego is like going ba 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 ba, just go. Three times. Okay, great. What's next? And next, and take a sip, but take a little second. So breathe. Do it three times if necessary, just to calm yourself down and bring yourself into into a calm state the where basic you can of life. Being open, be open. Breathe. So so yeah, you breathe three times. Sorry, you were taking me out. Breathe. You breathe three times, at, like once if necessary, but three times really will okay, make you get in the next zone. One? What's the next one? Two. Be open. How? Be open what, to the receiving tip, information. Yeah, what's the tip? In the heat of the moment, nobody's open. In the heat you've of the got, moment, they just want to fight their cause. But you've got to surrender to being a student. Yes, yeah, so how? No, like what's giving the yourself the gift of saying that you don't have all the answers. That even if somebody's telling you something okay. that you know, you may learn something new. It's like watching a film. Yeah, but in the Do heat you watch of the a moment, film more than one time? And the second time you watch it, you notice something different that you didn't notice the first time. I know you've got the magic inside, so how? I what's I, the I tip? I don't know what you want from me. No. Breathe. Be open. Yeah, but be open. How do I be open? In the heat of the moment. But it's like, no, I've got to be right. Da, 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 da. No. What do they help you? Come on. You, the answer's know. inside of you. I know you know how to do it. And I think sometimes, like, everybody struggles with it. Yeah? And if you openly admit that you struggle with it, like, I struggle with it. In the heat of the moment, I'm like, you know, guns come up, the little council estate kid where it's like, you know, if someone's going to do something to me, I've got to fight back because it's a sign of weakness. If not, I mean, that's in Okay, that's okay, in breathe. Me. Ask for support. So you ask for support. Yeah, that's how you be. So I need, I need some help right now because I'm not. I'm my emotions high, so my intelligence is low. Yeah. So is asking for support. Does that mean talking more or listening more? Listening, because you say I need some help right now. Boom. And then you listen. Yeah, actually, I, 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 do you want me to tell you about the third one? Yeah. Yeah, I think if you've got, if in the heat of the moment, if you feel your ego, if you feel like you want to be right. Yeah, or someone is giving you some feedback or someone's giving you advice, just listen and don't reply. 
Just just think about it. Yeah, that actually works because just I, think about it. Hold on a second. Was, I need no, but, to give the lesson. I good. need to give the last piece of the thing. You just think about it. Why? Because once you've thought about it, nine times out of ten, you have nothing to say. Nine times out of ten, someone will steal the end of your sentence. You know, so uh, sorry. Yeah. You're not sorry though. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Breathe, breathe. 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 No, but that's that's true. Yeah, breathe. But, but the reason I say breathe. that is because you actually, you yeah. trained me that before because I don't know, it was about a year or two ago, and you said that to me. You said yeah, but being trained we, and doing it is two different things, Trisha. You know that. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. It, in, from my experience when I did that. So he was telling me, and I because I was struggling, and he said, Oh, um, listen, the way oh no, we were on a training. One of our mentors said to us, right. The way, because you're in a couple, because you're, you're in an intimate relationship and you're in business, it's going to be very challenging for you guys to do feedback because we have to give each other difficult feedback, right? You're going to be like this in your business too. And with your, you know, if you're doing it in intimate relationships at the same time, so you're going to have to put a system in place for the way that you deliver feedback to one another so that it doesn't per, it doesn't feel like a personal attack or you don't, you will potentially still take it personally. But that's why if you use this system that Mark's talking about where you breathe, you listen, and then you don't reply at that moment. Go away, think about it. And if the things that you wanted to say during the argument are still factual and need to be said, then when your emotion has calmed down, you come back later and say, hey, so what we were talking about earlier, um, I was just going to ask you, da, 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 da. Nine times out of 10, it's a, a lot of the time you won't have anything to come back and, and discuss. Because a lot of the time, the stuff that's coming up is your ego. You, you repeated that like you yeah, because came I, up with it yourself. No, but, no, but that's what no, I'm saying. Because no, 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 when I learned it, when so, I was So here's that, the thing for the people. Here's, this, here's the special thing. The special thing is. Special. Yeah, the special thing you is special thing? that you, you must be executing what you're saying. Because that's the only way you know it. That's the only way that you feel it. So now we've kind of given you given you the context and how to accept and wanting to uh, now take on this information. Are you ready for this HMO checklist? Yeah. Yeah, I need to see some stuff. I need to see some activity. So listen, when you first of all get an offer accepted on a HMO, this is the most uh, wait, exciting wait, thing. On. You this, must this, absolutely this, celebrate. Yeah, you give it to me. I, I, don't, I'm going. I don't see anybody asking. Oh, you're me. asking? Okay. I don't see anybody asking. Are you ready? Me. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, I don't say, ha say hashtag yes. Hashtag ready. Hashtag. Oh, do you know what you need to hashtag? Hashtag RLPW. There you go. It's a great hashtag. Hashtag yeah. RLPW. Yeah, so by the way, we're going to give you a checklist for HMO right now. But there are a few different programs we do. We do something called Real Life Property Wealth, which is a two-day program. Immensely immerse you in not just uh, strategies and step-by-step -step and all that stuff. That's holding. Oh, my goodness. We're not together anymore, though, so I don't know if we can bring that the same bar. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, so not just step-by-step, -step, but also the 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 execution like the application of it the making it happen part of it because it isn't isn't it true that without the experience the information is useless so you need to put in experience we'll also do a four-day program especially if you like hmo uh probably worth turbo oh my god and it's not boring like our trainings are experiential they're not classroom style you won't fall asleep like mark did once come and judge it your, come and so judge it coming. yeah but come and judge it yourself come i was sitting there like yourself. this all exciting because i was like an encyclopedia have, yeah but they might find it boring and i was like it. They might find it. Well, How yeah. can you fall asleep in our training? You were just talking to people. So what are you talking about? You're sitting there taking notes. <laughs> you just talk to the person that? next to you. I couldn't hear what Turn to the person. You were louder next than you. the guy at the front. <laughs> I mean, your conversation was kind of more a little bit interesting, even though you're, I don't you weren't even talking about property a lot of the time to the people who were sitting next to you. Wasn't I? And I was just like, well, I'm a little bit Do you tired. know what I was doing? I need to save my energy for the networking pieces. So I think it was uh, in London and we met some people that were from the area we were looking to That's invest in. Wasn't it? Oh, in Birmingham. We met some thing. people that were from the area that we were looking to invest in for our first HMOs. And um, what I was doing was we were making a checklist of the areas to avoid and the areas to look at. You've got to and, give them this checklist. And then, yeah, awesome. No, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag BWT. Yes, I love that. Yeah, awesome. Let's do this. So, look, the first thing you've got to do is get your numbers confirmed. Now, Probably Wealth Turbo and Real Life Probably Wealth, all the programs, we give you all the numbers. Everybody always needs more work on the numbers. We've got online programs all the stuff that you need to 
back up yourself with we've got the youtube videos so make sure wherever you're watching this go subscribe to the real life group youtube channel because we've got different ways how to work out numbers how to build million pound portfolios yeah. and stuff and how all that works so first of all you got to get your numbers confirmed well, what does that mean that actually means yeah, you've got to have a few exits right i think as well it's having the network coaches mentors trainings for a safe environment to be able to confirm your numbers, not only for yourself, because listen, you could triple check them, but having an environment where it's safe to say, hey, boom, look at this deal. Have I missed anything? Like, is this okay? So like the real life tribe is the safest environment in our experience. People are doing amazing deals in the HMO arena. So having a network around you that is safe to be able to get somebody to quadruple check them with you as well. That's a massive thing. And that is what comes under getting your numbers confirmed. So you've got to get an offer accepted though. Right, so you're doing your numbers, but then you get an offer accepted on a HMO. So your first ever HMO. Think how exciting this is! You mo first of all, you need to celebrate, right? You need to celebrate big time, and then to get all your numbers confirmed, you need to do your due diligence because you're going to have initial numbers. We're going to teach you on our trainings, on our two days, and our four days, and our multi days um, trainings. We'll show you like fast numbers, and then we also go through the nitty gritty detail as well because some of you like really analytical brains want the detailed numbers. So when you've got your offer accepted, then you go confirm the numbers in a detailed format. So getting your builders around there, broker information, insurance, etc. So you're gonna have more accurate numbers then to be able to analyze the deal and say, hey, okay, this is the interest rate I'm gonna get on my loan. So over ten months, if for example your project's gonna take ten months, I'm presuming it's a big one because go big or go home right then you analyze that and say okay it's going to cost me a thousand pounds a month for 10 months so that's ten thousand pounds just in holding fees so this is just to own the asset for that time whilst you're in renovation so that's a part of a big cost so getting your numbers confirmed is quite a you know a detailed process but it's very simple it's very simple don't think don't think i can't do it it's too crazy it's too over analytical and remember again being around the right people in the right network the real life tribe this is something that's very simple process and being able to get checked from people. Imagine somebody in the network saying, hey, you know, you've missed this out. Just add this on. Have you checked this? Have you found out this? That's the kind of network that you need to be surrounding yourself in. What is next? Making sure, well, it's part of the numbers. Is like, did you say comparables? You know, comparables, so, so yeah, comparables. So, so you're, comparables. you're working out in, in the beginning. This is also important for your prop valuations and your refinances as well. Because we're talking a, about HMOs. Here. What is a prop valuation if somebody's never watched us before? Yeah, so what we're talking about is making sure in the beginning, when you are starting the work, you're going to need to get a valuation anyway for them. To, if, if, well, if you get yeah. a bridge loan or some kind of loan from a bank or somebody, you're going to need to get that valuation. Yeah, but so what you need to do is get like a prop valuation of. What is it going to be worth when I do these works to this spec? So a prop is a proposed valuation or a pre-valuation. So the bank is going to say, this is what it's worth now. So we're happy to lend you that money to buy it in its current state because it's going to be worth this. And then this is what it's likely to be worth at the end based on what you plan to do. Yeah. So so it's, again, it's, it's give. What, what I said, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm just, yeah, 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 I'm just explaining it before. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying is, like you got to do this number one to confirm your thoughts in the beginning, but also just to clarify that hey, look, when you come back, this is where it's going to be as well. How cool is that that you you know what's going to happen at the end before you've even got into the deal before yeah. you spend any money? So, so also as part of your checklist, you need to make sure estate agents, yeah, estate agents are being informed. You got the details of the um, solicitors. What else? Yeah. Yep. So they'll say they'll send a sales. Um, memorandum over to you saying you have had your offer accepted whatever it was subject to contract um, so you'll need to send your solicitor's information so that they'll send that to you and then the solicitor also you'll need to if you're buying it in a Isn't limited that the company point that, that, that's the point where they officially the offer accept, is accepted yeah. Yeah. when all that's happened absolutely and then obviously you can just wait for it to say sold subject to contract online and then you can celebrate it again. You always celebrate, celebrate all wins. But at the same time, if you're buying it in a limited company, don't panic at this stage. What we did when we started was we didn't set up our limited company to buy the house in until we had an offer accepted. So as soon as we got the offer accepted, we then set the company up because it takes like literally well, 10 minutes. Well, 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 I think what you're trying to say, it doesn't matter. Some people yeah. are like holding their horses or use it as an excuse not to move yeah. forward where the truth is, if you have it set up fine and that's a company you're going to use great but if not don't worry like it doesn't take long to get things set up and moving probably the only thing that would take a little bit longer sometimes in some cases depending it depends on this is setting up the business bank account 
yeah, yeah. yeah that but again, it's not the end of the show. It's not the end of the road because, you know, yeah, no, as long as you're tracking like accounting information, yeah. then even if you a even different if you bank account or something. Is and also, no, I'm talking about bank account. If yeah. a different bank account is used, uh, then it can be, uh, it's okay. Uh, I fast yeah. to say this bit. Exactly. Do you want me to say it or something? <laughs> yeah. So if, even if a different bank account is used, no, it's because this part you don't take care of, is it? Like, she has no idea about bank yeah, accounts yeah. and accounting and all that. She's like, <laughs> What is that? Yeah, so like what I'm saying is it doesn't matter if it's used in a different part, it can be I just realized that's what it was, isn't it? Totally like bored you. No, it isn't. No, but <laughs> what I'm saying is again, what we did in the beginning, like Mark said, it doesn't matter. If you get the offer accepted, then you can set your company up to buy it. Set in. Up then you can go back to the agent and say, This is the company name that we're buying it in, and then they'll send you a new memo with the new company name. So as long as they have it at the point where it's getting towards exchange and things, yeah. business bank accounts take you know, can be very quick ones, but depend on them. Just give yourself a good four weeks. To by get a by the way, is out. this valuable? Yeah, I'm so yeah, is, No, is this valuable? I want to know, wherever it is you're watching this, is this valuable? What are you learning so far? What's your biggest takeaway so far? I need to, I need to understand. I need to understand what it is that you're doing, or what it is you're getting. Because, by the way, whoever's watching this live, you're going to get something very special at the at the end of this. So tell us all the value that you are getting. What are your biggest takeaways? This is brilliant. Somebody's just said, if you're not a British citizen then your business bank account setup can take a lot longer. So bear that in mind. If you're an overseas investor and you're doing investments in the UK, that yeah. you know, to factor that in. But give yourself about four weeks grace to set up a business bank account. Now, again, with a lot of commercial lending, with like HMOs, for example, you've got to look at this, that they are generally going to want your business bank account details, obviously, when you're getting closer to it. With a different type of lending, they're not so fussy, so you can go with a different bank account. But... You're not going to need the bank account details and stuff like that until you're getting closer to exchange. Normal conveyancing time from the moment you've got an offer accepted on a property to actually completing the purchase, a standard is between eight to 10 weeks anyway. If you're buying subject to planning permission being granted, that's an eight week application generally. So again, just check with uh, your own councils and stuff. But if you've got an eight week planning application that's got to go through, you've got to get an architect around there to draw the plans up and things like that. So that potentially takes you to 10 weeks just from the offer accepted. And then you've obviously got to go through for searches, exchange and completion. So there's a lot of varying factors that happens here. So you just bear all that kind of stuff in mind, but don't panic is what we're saying. You can always buy some time if necessary. So definitely um, getting it all sent and set up and not panicking because it, it isn't it isn't a, yeah. a stressful and then, experience. And then based on that you've worked your numbers out before, now you need to make sure that that is translated into schedule of works from the person running the project. Yeah. So if we're talking about HMOs, we're doing proper conversions, we're looking at making proper, adding proper value yeah. to a, because I mean, we've got people in the real life tribe, um, and in fact, we've done it on a couple of properties as well, where they're already functioning as what you would class them as HMOs, but yeah. like, but like in, in that instance, you definitely need to make sure that you're adding a lot of value. We just went to see a, one with a couple of tribe members that actually the house is in pretty good nick. The kitchen is still the on a cellophane was on it. brand new. Yeah, so it's, it's all, amazing. Yeah, so in those scenarios, you you got to be making you know great. Different, Use you know, conversion, things. yeah, like to add more value. Like they're reusing that kitchen. And the reason I stress that point is because it's all about, okay, now scheduler works. We're running this as a proper project. I'm not talking about a project that is, uh, uh, like you said, a lounge with a bedding. Uh, I'm not yeah. doing a schedule works for that. You could just, you know, write that on the back of a napkin or something. But, the, but these are the kind of things that obviously we're doing. Um, we've done a separate video. I think it's going to be going live soon. Um, but these are the kind of things that will cause you a problem when you're coming to refinance them if you're doing commercially. If you're going to just put a bed in a lounge and call it a bedroom, things like that will will short you will fall short yeah. when it comes to valuations and things like and that. And listen, if you need loads of different areas or you want to submerge yourself in the information and what it is, then go subscribe to the YouTube channel because that's where a whole host of videos are, yeah. like short little snippets of what it is that you need. And manageable chunks because if you're working full time, if you've got children and you struggle for time, you know, one, get yourself to one of the real life events because we'll certainly you will discover your true potential on how much time you actually have um, available, which is a lot more than you think. Because honestly, there's some trainings that we go through with you where you just look at your calendar and you're like, seriously, I have no time. I don't have time. And then you look at your calendar and you're like, what was I doing between this time and this time? 
I don't, that's what should I actually fast. achieve in that? That's moment, right? fast. But what I'm saying is, in regards to this, they're bite sized chunks. So you can just watch them on the go. You know, if you've got an internet device, most people have a smartphone of some kind these days. So you can watch them on the go. So subscribe to the YouTube channel and keep getting notifications. Oh my God, there's podcasts. There's podcasts, podcasts everywhere iTunes, Spotify, whatever the Android thing is. I don't really Everyone use Everyone loves well. audio now. It's yeah. I certainly do. You want to say, and you can watch it on the, on, 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 listen to it on the, on the community and everything else. Also, hey, look, so now you've got. So uh, schedule of works you need, you need quote from the builders. And people always say, why is there such a big difference between one quote and another quote? Listen, you need to make this is make sure this is your checklist. You need to make a decision on your design. Yeah. yeah and what is all your fixing and fitting is going to be? Because when people are pricing things up, you need to make sure that they're pricing the same thing. Exactly. Because what happens is, and this happened on one of our projects, like they, they, they come in and the builder comes up with all these beautiful ideas. You know, oh, yeah, that's amazing. Oh, that's good. And that's what they quote on. Next builder comes around. They might either just do it off what you say or they do the same thing and they start going, hey, yeah, what about if you did this? What about if you did that? Now they're quoting completely different things. So if you're going to, in the beginning, once you start building your teams, you know, you need to get three different quotes. You need to make sure that they are quoting on the same thing because if – they're not quoting on the same thing. Oh my goodness! Like it's going to quote like how do you, it's going to be very difficult for you to make a decision and be able to not just. We have a whole process of how to build, you know, the a reliable, you know, fantastic power team to make sure that you understand how to recruit, how to retain them, and how to make sure that they are reliable and, and they deliver them. the results. Yeah, they deliver require. the results. That you but want. yeah, when you also, as part of your financing of the schedule, if you're doing HMOs in a commercial um, funding way, so if you need to work with commercial lenders and you'd like to get them commercially re revalued at the back end, you need to have your build quote as part of your actual purchase process for the bank. In most cases, they will require a schedule of works with a, with a solid quote and if you're doing development finance, you absolutely need your schedule of works and your full build quote from the builder because they need to approve the amount that you're spending on it to say, is it, worth, is it going to be worth what we're spending on it, etc. So that is quite an important part of your process. So don't leave it too late because you're going to need that. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, make a decision on your design. Absolutely yeah, instruct your solicitor. Said. Yeah, so get ready. Yeah. So paying for your searches so that they can get started. Sometimes the local searches can take a while if they're delayed at the council and things like that. But it's again, a broker. Yeah, oh, is there something else with solicitor? With the, with the solicitor. No. So yeah. it's an instrument broker as well, because you need to make sure that they're going through the process. And especially if yeah. it's your first one, the first time that you've got to go to a broker, a whole of market broker, so they get access to the whole market for the lenders, you're going to need to make sure that you've already filled in what they, most people call like a fact find or what do they call it, anything else? Yeah, yeah, fact find or it's just all of your personal yeah, all financial your information. So, so they, they know, know what lenders to go to, right? And then, it, yeah, the first time it's a bit slower. This is something you could do before getting an offer accepted. You could start building up your power team or your um, professional capacity team, whatever you want to call it, that is going to look after you, that is going to be the go-to people so that you can say, hey, I've got this offer accepted, this is the deal, da 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 and then they can start looking at deals for you straight away. But like Mark said, it's probably best to um, get that in as quickly as possible because it can take a while at the very beginning. Well, of the yeah, first. for the first time, if you, or if you're going to a new broker or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, but also building a strong relationship is very useful because they get to know you and they know you know what the situation is and all the rest of it. Would you say home buyer surveys on the checklist or home, only if applicable? Or? Yeah, so only if applicable. If you want to get a home buyer survey, which simply is a survey just to make sure that there's no hidden craziness in the property that you've not noticed upon viewing it with yourself or just you and your builder, um, sometimes they will require further surveys if they've got damp or any structural issues, but then they will require further reports on those. And again, it's a very much red list. They're kind of like everything's everything is disaster, you know, in the property. So you have to kind of look at them lightly and not be like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, because, you know, you'll never do property again. So um, a lot of the time in the beginning, we use them to help us um, with a delay time. Um, so they are really useful for that. But at the same time mm. now, if we've got mm. certain um, purchases, our build team is excellent at looking around things now. And sometimes they'll require structural, but a lot of the time we don't really get home buyers done now. Guys, so we know that this is useful wherever it is you're watching this. Just like write in the comments, like, what's your biggest takeaway? What's, what's the biggest penny drop moment that you got so far? What's the biggest reminder that you've had? Or what's the biggest something that's like, yeah, this, this, makes, this makes this work for me? Yeah. Oh, okay.
Yeah, sure. And then you've got to proceed to like the application for the lender, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this this means they're going to give you usually going to present you a couple of options, maybe. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's the ones that they favour the most. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna get different different lenders to choose from. But again, you want to ask the questions. But how how quickly are they gonna? If you're doing development finance, how quickly is the drawdown process? For the builders you know because the builders don't want to wait if they've got supplies chasing them and is it a backdated thing do the builders have to complete the works and have photographs and sign off before they can draw down or or can they pre-draw down so they can they say okay next phase is going to be this this and this like for, first fix um electricals joinery or whatever so it's going to be twelve thousand um based on the schedule then can they pre-draw down so that they can have the money to pay the trades to do the next stage of work. So there's lots of questions around that that you can do. Um, but it, but if it's just a normal sort of bridge to let kind of product that you're going for, then um, they'll give you a choice of the banks to work with based on what your outcome is at the end, because you want to make sure you start with the end in mind, of course. And then at the same time, you'll get quotes for valuers. So to have like we were talking about before, pre-valuation, prop valuation, if you're doing a commercial product, then they'll send you um, a list of which valuers to choose from in your local area and how much they're going to cost. Remember, don't always look at the cheapest. It's not about the cheapest. It's about finding the valuer that um, is going to value the product correctly. That's it, simply. You know, are they commercially experienced? Do they do HMOs usually? Like, how long have they been working in that area? How successful are they with that bank? How's the bank's kind of experience with them? How quick do they get the reports back? Because when the report gets sent back to the bank, it takes a further um, anywhere between seven to ten days to get the evaluate to get the actual formal offer out. And then once you've signed that and you're happy with that, then it takes another five to seven working days generally from that point. So if you've got a value that's taking two to four weeks to get their report back, are they going to be somebody that is going to be useful if you've got to get this deal done quickly? If the vendor's putting pressure on you, so there's lots of things like that that you can look into. Um, and yeah, signing the paperwork, things like that. So as soon as you've agreed on the bank and the valuers and things like that, the broker will send all the information to you. You've got to get it all signed. Sometimes get personal guarantees signed as well or debentures if you're doing it in a company and it's brand new. Um, don't be alarmed. There's a lot of things around that. Yeah, we, we are not FCA regulated. Let me just point that yeah, out. Yeah, so absolutely, for sure. But also as well, advice. all of this is just happening. We haven't even exchanged yet. Yeah, because someone <laughs> just said a comment. Hey, look, getting things done before completion because I just completed. And I wasted a month because now I'm still chasing for stuff like from builders and things like that. Yeah, yeah we're not even exchange yet. Yeah, so this is about making sure you understand your checklist, and this is why it's so important not just to know this information or like no, sorry, you say no, you don't know the information until you have the experience of applying it. But that's what I'm saying. This is why it is so important to be in a safe environment. You know, get yourself in a room and be able to apply this as you go. Have people around you um, to help guide you and make sure that you're not missing anything or just to kind of calm yourself. Because I think if emotion goes up, intelligence goes down in any situation. So that's what it is. So like and then like all of this stuff that we just spoke about and then you're going to exchange on it on the, on the property. And then at this point, you want to be timing it nicely. So if there are any things that you need to finish off or work around, or if you was going through planning, on, we're not discuss planning here because we want to just give you the normal, uh, what we say, it's not like bog standard, yeah. but just like the main points, like of, a permitted uh, development one that you're just doing on the five or six. Well, uh, yeah, well, let's not Fair. just let, let's not even go into that. I'm just saying we're not included that. But if there are some things, this is where you need to time the exchange with the completion. Sometimes you want might want to do it quickly straight away. There was one way, yeah, there was one way we got um change of use on a property. And we were going through that planning during all this uh, process where we got the offer accepted up to the point of exchange. We needed to, as soon as that as that came through, we increased, it went from 180 to 255. What's that? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's 75. Yeah. 75K increase. We didn't even do anything to, like, the, to the property. Like yeah? The day. yeah, yeah, just yeah, just from one day to the next because of that change of use. That is what the power of doing so you know, we, commercial. So we exchange within about... 14 days yeah well like exchanging complete i'm saying you might want to do it quicker but there might be other times where you've got some other things happening so before all of the funds get exchanged to uh, well, or like you know yeah exchange but i'm talking about completion then you might want to put a little bit of a de delay completion on that yeah yeah maybe the people in the, in the in the yeah maybe the people live in the house still you know rare on some of the deals that we do because we're going it's different buildings to become a building like site yeah don't well, really want to live around that yeah so that, that that's that's the thing, but you need to time all of that. Yeah. Then what you need to make sure that you're going to do 
is at that point of completion, here's the checklist. You've got to transfer all the utility bills. Yeah. You know, council tax and you know, you know, water and all of that. You don't stuff. want them knocking on your door saying you've got an unpaid bill. Yeah, that's what you need to do. Right? That's what you need to make trust, happen. Trust the place. Yeah. yeah, but this is funny, right? So we transferred everything over, did one big switch with their, our broker, and uh, one of them failed to transfer, but we still don't know the reason why because the, the team is currently dealing with it um, to figure it out. But for some reason, they didn't switch. Um, so then they turned up to the site and the builders are like, hey. And they said, hey, we're going to, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to recover a debt. And I was like, what? And he went, I've paid it. It's fine. But uh, yeah, just to let you know. And I was like, I didn't even know they were the supplier. I thought it was switched a year ago. <laughs> I was just like, this is hilarious. So yeah, always make sure that just from the beginning, get everything set up, have it on a spreadsheet or something just to make it um, so you know who your suppliers are, how much it's going to cost you. Put them on medium rates. Because again, if the property is going to be empty other than builder's use, just like seven Trent, we literally, so for the water, it might be a different, because uh, there are different supplies for different areas and stuff. Um, we just rang them and said it's going to be unoccupied for a while because the builder's going to be in there renovating. So they just put like a freeze on the account. Sometimes they might have like a daily standing charge, something like that, but very, very minimal usage. So don't pay the top um, direct debits unless you need to. And again, the same with the gas and electricity. We put it on minimal usage. So it just was like a daily standing charge instead of paying like a 30, 40 pound a month um, per direct debit because it wasn't being utilized. So think about things like that where you can save costs. And also in council, so the council tax, when you're transferring that over, obviously if it's in your company name, it's fine, or, or whatever name you bought it in, um, ask them, are there any grants available on the council tax to save money because it's going to be unoccupied for at least six months because we're renovating. So then in some of the areas, they, they came out to assess the property, see that it clearly wasn't being um, rented out or anything like that, and it was being renovated and unfit to be lived in. So we got 50% off for like the whole time that we renovated. So that's another saving. Always look to um, add value to your own portfolio by saving money where possible. So when we've done this, now we need to take the through the bill phase. So like, we're going to give you the basic, you know, box standard thing that you need to make sure you're taking care of. Because when you get a schedule of works, really this is going to be in there, especially if yeah. you know how to project manage and if you learn to, uh, how to project manage, which is we teach people, we taught many people how, how to do this. But Oh, you know, sorry, but with, with HMO, building control. So get your building control um contract set up if the builder's doing it just chase the builder and make sure the builder's done it but get that done so that it's ready in time for the completion of the properties and um, purchase so that the builders can go straight in and they're not waiting for the building control notice because if you wait for the notice you can't start work yet it's a really important one you don't want to uh, forget mm. to get building carry control. on phases yeah. Yeah. So for the first phase, so so sometimes it could be five phases, six phases, eight phases, ten phases, depending on the project. But we're just going to give and you a box. Works, right? Yeah, but we're just going to give you a box standard one. Yeah. So what's the first phase? First phase is going to be standard like rip, rip out any structural works and anything yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. Second phase is what? Second phase will be um, first fix electric, joinery, and plumbing. So getting all of those things in and the initial ordering. If you've got any extensions going on, they're going to be digging down and laying foundations and things like that, starting the first breeze bricks. Is is there any challenges? So we've had a few recently with the extensions where they've had to dig down double depth because of like trees and stuff like that. So any additional things like that will all be done in the first phase. Yeah. yeah, and then, then, then phase three is going to be like plastering. Anything else yeah. in the plastering? Plastering, uh, no, joinery. Like, no, well, no, 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 it's joinery because we've got the first phase of joinery, then we need to get all the plastering. Yeah. That's phase of itself, especially if we're talking about a proper conversion. Overlap. They generally overlap. They do the plastering, yeah, they're doing be. the fire door um, joinery. Yeah, well, the, 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 the frame, phase. no, the frame has to go before you do the plastering. That's, that's the first fix. The frames will go in first, then because then you've the got the frames for the en suites and stuff. No, and the door frames as well. And the door frames as well, because you've got to plaster up to the door frame. Trust me on this one. Just say yes, Mark. Just say yes, sir. Come okay, on. yes, sir. Yeah. So 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 then all that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good advice, you're me. Yeah. So then, um, then let's say plastering, and then, and then it's a second fix for yeah. joinery, plumbing, electricity, all of that yeah, stuff. Because, no, because the second fix is oh, where they wait. Because the second fix is where they're putting all the intermittent strip rims in to the joinery. Well, I go on site. Yeah, it is. Anyway, yeah, the second fix joinery, electrics, plumbing, and um, obviously control panels and.
Yeah, and then after the second fix, then we're going to be uh, snagging, right? No, carpet, so decorate. Yeah, yeah ca decorate. Ca carpets and decoration. Decoration, first. tiling. Yeah, decoration, finishing off, you know, like the, the end product finish, like you say, Grouting. fixtures, fittings, tiling, carpets, decoration, all of that good stuff. And then snagging. Then so snagging. Time, snagging. And, and then, cleaning. And then the next and cleaning. Phase, so the final phase is clean and furnish. No, no cleaning needs to be always snagging. Clean and furnish. You can't get the, you can't, can't get the furnishes in there yeah, before it's been cleaned. You can do the majority of this stuff. Oh, when you my go. goodness, you that is do, terrible. You can do the majority, because terrible. the best thing to do is whilst the builders are in thick on site, you can go around and, and like put post notes or something if you want to, and you can literally start pointing them out, but making a list, and then sending it to them so they can do it while they're still on site. The last thing you really want to do, because it, it is helpful, it's just when they've done the clean, so the big stuff can be done while they're on site, then when the final clean's been done, then it'll just be little nicks here and there that you've got to then send them to, okay? So then they'll have to send somebody back to site to obviously do those final snags. But what I mean is just when they're on site, it's going to be quicker yeah, and easier. We don't need to sell it to, need to, sell yeah. it to them. I, I manage the project. Oh, what is that? What is it that you're doing right now? Well, I manage the project. No, I'm just saying because that's what I do. So I do, I do the main snag whilst they're still on site. And then after the final clean, then it's just little corners that got little chips on, maybe when the furnishing guys have been in and so, touch up on the panes. Yes, Trisha. Yes, chef. No, chef. Yes, chef. No, chef. <laughs> anyway, listen, that is what we've got time for because we've got the real life tribe mastermind, oh, wow. which you guys are going to get to at eight o'clock. Uh, so you need to go do that. But here's the thing. Look, I need you to apply this stuff. I need you to write in the comments, you know, for yourself. I hope you've taken lots of notes. Why don't you share this video? Why don't you get someone else to the Real Life uh, Group uh, YouTube channel? Just do whatever it takes to share this stuff. People are in the right, uh, Real Life Tribe, you know how much this has benefited you already and all the uh, millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of pounds yeah, of yeah, properties yeah. that you've purchased and renovated and complete. Or also, what about the, what's it called? Um, what about all of the... Um, uh, millions and millions and millions of pounds that have been raised through yes. knowing how to raise the money as well. It's uh, absolutely uh, critical that you need to know how to do that. But look, here's the thing. If you want to boost your journey forward or if you want to get your journey started, it's not just about HMO. There's a few things you need to take into consideration. Yeah, if you and want to know what happens next, because this, we haven't even touched the surface. Yeah, but it's not even just about next either. It's, a, it's like, right, there's just a few pieces, like, you know, you know, you don't just eat a meal. I mean, I used to do this, but like, you don't just put, you know, the, I, I don't want to use meat. I don't eat meat anymore. I don't eat meat anymore. But like, you don't, you're not just going to have a piece of chicken on there. Yeah, like there's other parts to it, right? Yeah, absolutely. yeah? I'm not just going to say, right, I'm going to have a cup of tea and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to have water. I need the cup. I need the tea bag. I need, you know, the other ingredients that I'm going to do. I need the kettle. I need the electricity. Like all of these things that sometimes go on in the background that everybody takes for granted. So if you want, you know, to go forward, then what you, what is, what is this? I don't think it's going too well, is it? Giles? What? Expand, please. Expand. What do I know, you? I think he's. I think he's laughing. Yeah. So anyway, listen. What you need to do is get yourself to real life property wealth. It's a two day event. It's not Amazing. A, it's not even an event. It's, it's not it's an event. Experience. It, it's a, It's a. It's an experience, but it's a proper training. Yeah. Yeah. If you think I'm not, but like, think of what you might perceive as education or training from school, right? It's like this is not where the person takes you into the gym and you just look at the equipment and talk about, oh yeah, this is how you get, you know, biceps if you do this. No, you, the real trainer gets you on the machine, gets you pumping some iron, yeah, and starts getting you working, yeah, going through an experience, experiencing that workout, yeah? This is what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, this is what real life pr property wealth is. Real life property wealth, over two days, we build you up, sometimes we rip you apart, sometimes you know, we have to put you back together because it's so difficult. Put the link in it because you've just got to get it. Yeah, right? you've yeah get just it. go to reallifepropertywealth.com, make sure it happens. Next one is in London, uh, but just go go see because tickets sell out pretty quickly these days because a lot of people are getting, I mean, we broke the record last time. The last, yes. time, the last time the record, there's a lot of pressure on the next event, you know, because, you know, 64 people in a 20-minute exercise. So the, do you know so the they link raised? is in the comments. Do you know the how much they raised? The they raised? They raised? Over 339,000 pounds it was. 339,000 20, 20 minutes. minutes. In 20 minutes. Yeah, this is Massive one, celebration. Listen, that's just one tiny exercise. I mean, it's 20 minutes over two days. Yeah, and these are like proper days. Like we start at 9 in the morning, we finish, you know, 6, 7 at night. It's like 12-hour days easy. Ish. 
Yeah, no, 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 because that's why we spread it out over two days, so it's a lot easier. Because we used to like start at eight and finish at like eleven at night. Yeah. So we had to split over two days, which allowed us to add more, the, more experiences in, more training, more content. Event where they were like, "Hey, we need to get the room set up for the next." No, day not the first so, event. I remember the first five events where that happened. We were like, "I thought yeah. you were going to be finished," and we're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." But yeah. listen, it doesn't. That's the thing. It doesn't matter. You have to. We we will make sure that we do whatever it takes. To give you the biggest transformation, and if that means well, it's that we want to give you even more, then we're going to give you even more. Yeah, but it's proven. We're just not going to stop. Yeah, but it's, what are we it's saying? It's proven. Natural. We've got a system. We've got processes. We know how to get people results. We get offers accepted. People are, you know, exchanging and completing within a few weeks. People are building. You know, this, just go check it out. Check out the YouTube channel. Check Sean, out Transformational Sean Tuesdays. Sean said he went to uh, Property Wealth Turbo, and literally within about within about two days, he exchanged and completed on his property deal literally after going to Pop 12 turbo so it lists and a massive deal that was so you've got to be open to the process though because you can't you will not achieve the results and you will not achieve the success that you truly deserve if you're not open to the information yeah. so come along be open to learning and be put your ego to one side and yes totally totally Definitely. open up to you transform. must do that you must do that you must do that so hey look the real life tribe you know how to get onto the mastermind questions are answered the support is there the team is there all the people are going to be there so make sure that you take full use and take full advantage of that because this is the network this is the culture of all of the different people that are coming together creating success for each other helping each other i think it's totally amazing so keep doing that you're totally amazing you got to remember never 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 forget that you got to do the right thing for the right reason because that's the only way that you're going to discover your true potential I never know. I don't know how to do. That's my experience. Bye, Insta. Thank you for watching. You are awesome. Thanks and remember, so the link, the the link is in the um, comments. The comments to www.reallifepropertywealth.com. Get yourself along 14th and 15th of March in London. We will see you very soon. Yeah, YouTube. We'll see you soon. What about You're going to use my phone. Yeah.